Well, good morning po sa inyong lahat. Good morning, good afternoon, good evening. <laughs> Kung saan man kayo naroon. Welcome sa ating uh, daily devotional. And we are now in episode 208. Hallelujah. No? Purihin ang Panginoon. Tayo po ay nasa episode 208 na. And uh, welcome to all of you, lalo na mga faithful, uh, uh, ano tawag sa inyo, uh, devotion uh, attendees. <laughs> so, salamat sa Panginoon. Thank you po at, uh, for joining me once again. Uh, today, it's a, uh, it's a Wednesday. Right? It's a Wednesday morning. Tama ba yung ating petsa? <laughs> yep, it's a Wednesday. Uh, although siguro sa, sa ibang lugar, uh, some of you are listening from the US. So it's a, a afternoon or towards the, the evening of uh, uh, Tuesday. Tama ba yan? Okay, so uh, welcome. Anyway, kung saan mang time zone kayo naroon. And uh, once again, um, we have an opportunity para i-focus ang sarili natin sa Panginoon at sa Kanyang salita. So, uh, let's do that. Our scripture today is uh, Psalm 27, uh, verses 4 to uh, 6. And uh, we have already looked at this psalm before, no? Uh, psalm uh, 27, verse 1 to 3. Pero ngayon, we are going to look at verses 4 to 6. Okay. At uh, so, samahan po ninyo ako. Let's pray. Uh, basahin muna natin. Sabi sa verse 4, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At His secret, uh, at his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. Amen. So tayo po ay uh, manalangin. Let's all come before the Lord. Panginoon, uh, we are so thankful to you for waking us up. Uh, kami mga nasa Pilipinas. Uh, for others naman, Panginoon, who are in a different time zone, Panginoon, salamat naman, Lord, for giving them strength for the day, for giving them the grace to, to do whatever it is that uh, they have done for the day, Panginoon. And as they wrap up their day, Lord, may the presence of the Lord continue to really give them uh, hope and encouragement. At ganoon din kami rito sa Pilipinas, Panginoon, as we look forward to a new day, Wednesday. Lord God, by your grace and mercy, hayaan mo rin, Panginoon, na matuon ang aming buong puso at uh, buong pagkatao sa iyo, Panginoon. You are our source of joy and peace, Panginoon. At uh, Lord, um, hindi lingit sa kaalaman mo. You, you know what's going on uh, all over the world, Panginoon. In many places right now, in many countries, oh God, uh, patuloy na nagkakaroon ng second, third, or fourth wave, uh, ako pang ilang wave na po, Panginoon, uh, sa infections. And in spite of the vaccine, Lord, uh, there are many, many people, or God, uh, who are getting infected. And uh, Lord, this, of course, uh, worries us and uh, makes us afraid and concerned. And uh, at the same time, for others, it causes frustration na sisisi namin, Lord God, ang mga nasa gobyerno o sino man. Lord God, help us na sa gitna ng mga ganitong mga pangyayari. To put our hope in you, to trust in you, so that, Lord, yung peace na nasa amin, which passes all understanding, Lord, would uh, keep us safe and secure at uh, hindi kami matitinag, Panginoon. Salamat po, Lord, sa presensya mo, Panginoon. And uh, we just right now acknowledge that we are in you and with you, Lord. 
and you are with us right now. Bagamat magkakahiwalay kami, geographically, or even time-wise. Pero Lord, we are together right now in the presence of the Lord, and we worship you, Panginoon. We thank you, Lord. Speak to us, O God. Speak to us, O Lord, through your word and by your Holy Spirit. This is our prayer. In Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Well, purihin ang ating uh, Panginoon. So, tayo po ay uh, dumako sa salita ng Diyos muli. No? Dito sa Psalm 27, verses 4 to 6. And uh, as I mentioned before, no, itong psalm na to really uh, displays or shows us yung, yung confidence that uh, David has in the Lord. You know, sa umpisa nito, ng psalm na ito, verse 1, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the stronghold of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? You know? And then in the last part naman, sabi niya, verse 13 and 14, I remain confident of this. I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. Wait for the Lord. Be strong and take heart and wait for the Lord. So this psalm really is about the confidence that David has in the Lord. And uh, sa gitna ng mga nangyayaring mga you know, atake sa kanya, you know, and uh, mga nangyayaring mga problems niya sa buhay, may confidence siya sa Panginoon. And dito sa verse 4 to 6, verses 4 to 6, we see kung saan nakatoon yung confidence niya, okay? Nakatoon sa presence mismo ng ating Panginoon. Only in the presence of God can we have true confidence. See, only in God's presence can we have true confidence. Sabi ni David sa verse 4, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek. So, more than yung deliverance, more than yung maalis siya dun sa sitwasyon na hindi maganda, is basically saying, ito yung desire ko, ito talaga yung gusto ko more than anything else. And then he continues on, sabi niya, that I may dwell in the house of the, the Lord all the days of my life. No? So he wanted to be in God's presence. Kasi only in God's presence can uh, he or anyone else have true confidence. Sabi niya that I may dwell in the house of the Lord. Now, the house of the Lord, of course, does not simply mean yung temple, no? Uh, that may easily be, ano, uh, yung ating nasa isip because, in fact, sabi nga sa susunod, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. But you must understand, you know, even David himself, no, nagbabalak siya to, to uh, you know, put up or construct yung temple for the Lord. In fact, hindi siya ang uh, nagkaroon ng ganong klaseng pribileyo, kundi his son Solomon. Pero when he was contemplating it, no, the Lord himself ano, ano, spoke to him and said na basically, na kung yung paraphrase ko, who's going to build me a house? Sabi niya, you know, no? I, I own everything. No? In other words, uh, he, he's not to be limited in one space or ano, location. And yet, you know, by God's grace, you know, <laughs> He accommodated himself and nung na-establish na yung temple, he spoke, <coughs> sorry, he spoke to, uh, to Solomon, yung anak ni David, and told him that his uh, presence will be there, no? Uh, pero, and yet, at the same time, it is, it doesn't mean na, uh, you know, na yung presence niya was limited only to that temple or that the temple equals the presence of God. And eventually, ang mga Israelites became, you know, uh, confused and they, parang they started worshiping the temple itself rather than the Lord, you know, whose presence is in the temple. Kaya eventually, you know, kaya nga dumating si Jesus, sabi niya, destroy this temple and I will rebuild it in three days. And in fact, na-destroy nga talaga yung, yung temple eventually, no, nung AD 70. Uh, and of course, the presence of God, of, of course, yung presence ng Lord did not disappear nung nasira yung temple. 
Because the presence of the Lord is not limited by uh, brick and stone or whatever, you know. Uh, gaya ng tinuro ni Jesus, ano, dun sa Samaritan woman sa John chapter 4. The God is spirit. And it's not a question of uh, itong lugar na to o yung lugar na yan. But, but rather, sabi, you know, God is spirit and He's uh, looking for those who will worship Him in spirit and in truth. And later on, si Jesus Himself, sabi niya, where two or more are gathered in my name, there am I in the midst of them. So in other words, one of the things that uh, we misunderstand natin is, uh, of course, we associate the presence of God sa mga lugar, no? And rightly so, of course. God in His mercy, no? Uh, may uh, accommodate ka nga <coughs> and reveal Himself, no? In, in certain places. Pero wag natin, uh, wag tayo ma-mistake na yung place mismo. Uh, limits the presence of God. Okay? So, for example, kung tayo ay magtitipon sa isang sanctuary or sa isang quote-unquote church, as we call it, di ba? And we would experience the presence of God there. Huwag natin isipin na uh, that's the only place where God's presence can be experienced. <coughs> Sorry, ah, nasasamid ako. <coughs> And I think that's one of the reasons why I believe a lot of people are struggling uh, sa panahon na ito because wala yung place, no, quote-unquote, yung church where people can gather para sila ay maka-experience ng presence of God or, or so they thought. no. Well, the presence of God is not uh, limited no, sa, yun nga, sa building or yung location. So right now, tayo, as we come together in this way, Naka-online tayo. And we are doing these daily devotions. We are in God's presence. No? And uh, God Himself promises us in His Word. Now, when two or more are gathered in His name, uh, there He is in the midst of them, or He is with us, you know, in our midst right now. So, purihin ang ating Panginoon. And I hope na ma-renew nga yung mind natin concerning uh, the presence of God, or the house of the Lord, as we would call it. So David himself uh, understood na hindi limited dun sa mismong physical temple yung presence of God. Pero that's what he was seeking. Sabi niya, one thing I ask from the Lord. This only do I seek, sabi niya. That I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. So even literally, that cannot happen. Ano? Di naman siya nakatera sa temple. So he's speaking spiritually. No? He's saying that he wants to be in God's presence basically. To gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. And then he says in verse 5, For in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. So in other words, only in God's presence can we have true confidence. So alam ni David na in the presence of the Lord, no, He is safe. So for in the day of trouble, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent. Now, notice nyo yung change ng kanyang language, no, tent. Which is, of course, you know, yun yung wala kasing temple, di ba? Nung panahon ng Exodus, nung sila ay ando sa desert, they only had a tent, that, uh, you know, tent of meeting, as it is called sa nung panahon na yun, where they, you know, the, the tent symbolized the presence of God in, in, in the midst of the, uh, the, the camp of Israel. And only later was there a, parang, a literal physical temple no? na binilled ni, ni Solomon. So, in, in other words, you know, David is not particularly focusing on the physical place itself, but on the presence of God. So, for in the day of trouble, sabi niya, He will keep me safe in His dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of His sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. So, David knew and he's telling us right now, now only in God's presence can we have true confidence. You know, and, he's, and he thinks about the presence of God as not being limited by space or anything, but really it's the, the dwelling place of the Lord. Yun ang kanyang uh, din he desire. And uh, tayo rin dapat should have that kind of desire. 
because uh, the truth is only in God's presence can we find safety you know, and uh, security. Uh, sabi niya sa verse 6, you know, Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. Okay? At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. No? So in anticipation, no? in anticipation sa deliverance ng Panginoon, how God will act on his behalf sa buhay niya. He's, he's, he's going to worship God. No? He's going to praise the Lord and worship Him with all His heart. So this is something na kailangan natin ma-realize na only in God's presence you know, can we have true confidence. Kasi sa totoo lang, pag tayo ay uh, dumadaan sa mga ano, iba tabang klase mga pagsubok o problema, financial man yan, or maybe in in our case right now, di ba? May kinalaman sa health. No? Merong virus na umiikot-ikot, you know, infecting a lot of people, endangering our lives. Or maybe meron kang ibang klaseng problema sa buhay. But often, you know, na ang temptation sa atin ng kaaway is to put our confidence in in other things. Of course, ang una nating ginagawa pag tayo ay mayroong mga problema is to try to escape it. And, uh, or, kung hindi man ganun, we try to look for some solution out there. Uh, it's really, ano, parang nakakalungkot when when people are going through problems sa buhay nila. Makikita natin siguro, or maybe kayo mismo you would observe, na minsan yun yung mga times, alam ba, may problema ka, mayroon kang ginugo through, Na parang yun ang nagiging uh, dahilan why you will stay away, for example, from the church, not being with God's people, not going to worship, you know, not praying, not reading your Bible. In other words, the very thing that can give you confidence, yung presence ni Lord, yun din mismo yung nilalayuan natin. This is uh, really um, sad, you know, yun yung temptation. At alam mo, hindi galing kay Lord yan. Eh. Kasi if you are thinking of parang magwe-withdraw ka or, you know, mag-isolate uh, ka, ganun. Uh, that is not really from the Lord. And you should discern that kasi that is the enemy suggesting to you na meron kang makukuwang solusyon do sa problema mo outside of the presence of God. Now, the presence of the Lord is the only place where you can find true confidence, you know, sa gitna ng mga iba't ibang klaseng mga trials and kung ano mang pinagdaraanan sa buhay. Only in God's presence can we have true confidence. So, napakahalaga po talaga that we choose, you know, to be in the Lord's presence and that we desire the Lord's presence above all. Kaya, for example, itong panahon natin, iba, with the pandemic and everything, all the more we should come together. Kahit hindi tayo makakam together physically, we should come together uh, digitally. No, we can. We should come together, kung via Zoom or via, uh, you know, Messenger or via, you know, whatever. You know, wag natin sabihin sa sarili natin na well, you know, na di depressed ako kasi hindi kami makapunta sa church. Well, the church is not the presence of God. The presence of God is, you know, beyond the, the physical building. And whenever we come together, when we pray like this, kunyari, when we seek the Lord, when we set our hearts before Him, we are in God's presence. Hindi siya limited, no? Doon sa mismong sanctuary. And uh, ang dapat kasi natin maunawaan is that and hindi tayo magkakaroon ng katatagan o kalakasan by staying away, you know, or by withdrawing from the very presence of God. Instead, dapat natin ma-recognize na only in God's presence can we have true confidence. Now, unfortunately, you know, uh, ang dahil nga siguro sa emotional na nararamdaman nga natin, o yung psychologically na, na, na babother tayo ng sitwasyon o whatever. 
uh, we we withdraw, nag we withdraw tayo, and we we stop, you know, uh, putting ourselves uh, in sacred places, ikano. Uh, by sacred places, I mean yung mga places where where God's presence can manifest. And it, it does not necessarily mean physical, no? A sacred place is not necessarily physical, okay? But it does mean, you know, setting apart yung time to be in the Lord's presence, your guru, when you pray and when you seek Him, when you silent, when you silence your soul in the presence of the Lord or be with others in prayer or katulad ngayon, itong devotional na ito, these, these are exactly those sacred places that I'm talking about. Eh. Now, by by drawing near to God, you know, the Lord draws near to us as well. Ado natin nararanasan yung confidence and yung assurance natin. You know, in the midst of uh, a lot of things na hindi natin kontrolado. Okay? That's why itong verses 4 to 6 na to reminds us na yung presence ng Panginoon is the only thing talaga that can give us confidence lalo na when everything else you know is falling apart so sa panahon natin ngayon let's encourage uh, you know first ourselves you no know, iyano natin yung sarili natin na uh, uh, mag-decide tayo to always you know uh, prioritize the presence of God sa buhay natin. One thing I ask, sabi ni David, one thing I ask from the Lord, and this only do I seek, sabi niya, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life. So desire God's presence for yourself. Be with God's people in whatever way, you know. Uh, ang kagandahan nga ngayon, for example, through technology, di ba? Kahit na nasa iba't ibang lugar tayo, we can be together in the Spirit. We can, uh, kahit na iba-iba yung ano natin, no? time zone natin. May mga kasamahan tayo na nasa America, for example. Yung oras nila ngayon is probably around 6.25 p.m. siguro. Uh, you know, I suppose. Uh, ewan ko doon sa iba mga ano, eh, yung iba medyo delayed pa sila or advanced sila wherever. So, kahit saan tayo naroon, the amazing thing is uh, we can come together uh, because we are, of course, coming together in God's presence through the Holy Spirit. It is not through ano, uh, you know, parang human effort or whatever. So, hindi tayo ano, limited uh, by anything. And that's something na kailangan natin i-recognize by faith. So, just because hindi tayo makapunta sa isang physical na lugar, like a, you know, yung lagi natin tinaterm na church, actually, it's not the church, it's a church building, na ko uh, the church is the people of God, you know, we go to a building, to a church building, pero th- that is not the church, the church is the people of God. So, just because hindi tayo makapunta sa isang church building, doesn't mean din natin may experience ang presence of God. So, kailangan na rin natin yun. I-renew natin yung mind natin. Uh, stop thinking in terms of parang physical. Kasi minsan, i- ina-attribute natin yung presence of God dun sa mismong experience no? natin. Okay? Uh, meaning, na-associate natin yung presence of God dun sa pakiramdam o nararanasan natin when we are actually physically in a certain place, tas maraming tao, mayroong music, ganyan, mayroong preacher. So, iniisip natin, well, you know, that's the presence of God. No, that's not the presence of God. No, That is simply a a physical or social experience. No? Uh, and God's presence, of course, is never limited by those things. So, kahit na wala yun, Kahit wala tayo sa isang lugar na merong magandang ano, di ba? Uh, sanctuary, tapos may mga magandang music, may preacher, may mga ushers. Kahit wala yung mga yun. We are not limited by those things in terms of experiencing the presence of God. So, that being said, isik natin yung presence of God at all times. No? 
uh, sa araw-araw nating buhay, make sure na now na we are practicing the the presence of God. Uh, for example, by simply going into you know a uh, solitary place or a place all by yourself, tapos being silent before the Lord or reading Scripture, you know, or simply just meditating on on the presence of God by going out in the field kunyari, or looking at the sky or trees, you know. Because the presence of the Lord is not something na malayo, no? Hindi lang tayo aware. And so we must uh, learn how to appreciate uh, the presence of God. Distracted lang tayo sa totoo lang, di ba? Parang katulad sa, um, sa bahay din natin. Minsan, na, may, nandun yung kunyari, kapatid mo o magulang mo. In other words, present siya. Pero siguro, dahil meron kang ina- iniisip o inaasika, so hindi mo na papansin na nandun siya. No? In other words, you are not aware of his or her presence. Pero it doesn't mean na hindi siya present doon. Present siya doon, hindi mo lang siya napapansin. So in the same way, you know, God is present. In fact, isa sa mga attributes niya is omnipresence. He's present you know, everywhere. So in other words, uh, you know, God is present all the time in your life, around you, you know, even in the very air that you breathe. Okay? Ang problem lang talaga natin is, of course, we are not paying attention. Kaya the way to experience the presence of God is to learn to slow down, to be silent, uh, maybe to go to a quiet place all by yourself and just worship the Lord. Or, you know, to be in, uh, katulad ng ganito, to be in a gathering, kahit na online. You know, it's really a spiritual experience. Eh. So, dapat natin uh, tatandaan na, you know, being in God's presence is a spiritual experience. You know, it's a, um, it's something na, na you know, nararanasan natin through the Holy Spirit and not, not through some other uh, thing na maaring uh, associate natin yun. So, wag po tayong mag-focus dun sa yung feelings, gano, na parang masaya, being with uh, people. Yeah, totoo, siyempre. I mean, di naman natin siguro ide-deny yung masaya naman talaga to be with uh, with people, you know. Kaya lang, pag uh, dun ka nakatingin, tapos dun mo na nilimit yung ano, experience mo of God. Siyempre, ang mangyayari dun is that, um, uh, unang-una, madidepress ka, di ba? Pangalawa, siyempre, feeling mo parang may pinagkait sa iyo, no? parang may nawala. So, alisin mo sa isip yun. Alisin mo sa ano yun. Yeah, uh, it's alright for you to miss people, mamiss mo yung mga tao, mamiss mo yung ano, uh, di masama yan. But at the same time, don't let it stop you from experiencing the presence of God. So, in this uh, thing na ginagawa natin ngayon, we go into our daily devotions, we can experience God. And more than that, you know, when we worship, di ba, nakakatuwa ngayon kasi wala nang, wala nang boundaries, ano. Uh, pero at the same time, meron pa rin talagang ano, mga tao na nakafocus sila dun sa physical na gathering. So kahit na merong availability for them to experience the presence of God, uh, ayaw nila. No? So, that's a, you know, that's a choice na nakakalungkot lang. Because that would, that would not really help you. By uh, associating yung physical gathering to the presence of God and by rejecting yung other ways that you can be in the presence of God, you actually uh, add up to your own ika nga yung experience of uh, discouragement and losing hope. So, lalo kang, ano, lalo, lalo kang manghihina doon. So, my ano, suggestion sa, sa ating lahat, okay, during this time, okay, i-accept natin na, well, hindi wise mag-gather physically, hindi wise na lumabas as much as possible, hindi lang sa hindi wise for our sake. It's also not loving kasi, di ba, we want to, ano sana, the church should be, ika nga, parte ng solution, hindi parte ng problema. The church should help. Wala tayong masyadong magawa. Financially, hindi naman tayong mayayaman. Pero in a way, we can help our nation or we can help the world by cooperating, no? By doing our part. Yung hindi tayo punta ng punta sa mga lugar ng mga ano kung saan, lalong kakalat yung infections. Now, that's the least we can do. 
uh, wag natin hayaan na ma-perceive tayo ng mga tao sa who are doing who do not know the Lord na parang wala tayong pakialam. Sige, gusto lang natin mag-meeting, you know, kasi nami-miss na natin ang isa't isa. Huwag tayong ganun. We have to uh, consider in a very loving way ano bang makakatulong talaga. And right now, hindi talaga wise yun. But having said that, uh, hindi dahilan yun para you know, mag-withdraw tayo, mag-isolate tayo. No? Uh, dapat patuloy tayo, mag-gather together. Uh, merong posible ngayon na mga online small groups. So if you don't have a small group, ang church namin, we have you know, ROCC has uh, different kinds of online small groups. You know, you're welcome to join. And, uh, of course, kung sabihin, eh, pastor, iba yun, eh. Yeah, of course, merong, merong kakaibahan talaga yun kasi hindi mo ma-hug yung mga tao, hindi mo mayakap, you know. <laughs> you know, hindi ka baka high-five. Oh, yeah, merong siyempre, aminin ko naman, hindi naman, di naman parehas talaga yan. Pero, nevertheless, okay, kahit na ganun, no, parang katulad dalimbawa ng mga OFWs, ano, nasa malayong lugar, pagkausap mo sila sa Zoom o sa Messenger, Ibig sabihin ba doon, hindi totoo yung inyong interaction just because wala kayo physically sa presensya ng isa't isa, no? Alam naman natin, hindi ganun yun, di ba? Kasi kahit na hindi tayo magkasama physically, our hearts can be united as one in the presence of the Lord. So, by faith yun, siyempre. When we have uh, faith in the presence of God through the Holy Spirit, then any place can be a place of God's presence. So, tandaan natin yun, no? di ba? Yung presence ni Lord, hindi natin ma-afford na wag ano yun, wag hanapin yun, no? wag saliksikin yun. Kaya sabi ni David, One thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. For in the day of trouble, he will keep me safe in his dwelling. He will hide me in the shelter of his sacred tent and set me high upon a rock. Then my head will be exalted above the enemies who surround me. At his sacred tent, I will sacrifice with shouts of joy. I will sing and make music to the Lord. So, sa madaling salita, para magkaroon tayo ng tunay na confidence, doon tayo sa presence niya. No? Only in God's presence can we have true confidence. So, as much as possible, sa lahat ng paraan na po pwede, no? Huwag tayong mag-withdraw, huwag tayong mag-isolate, kasi kung gusto natin maging overcomers, no? Dito sa nangyayaring problema sa mundo natin, hindi yan, hindi natin yan ma-accomplish by withdrawing from God's presence. Hindi yung nangyayari. The more na manghihina tayo, the more na madi-discourage tayo, the more na madi-disillusion tayo, Okay, so let's draw near to God together. You know, uh, of course, a personal nating experience, we can do that. Kaya nga na sinasabi ko, no? Mag-set aside tayo ng mga times to be alone in the presence of God, to worship Him, to seek His face, to go into the scriptures, no? To study and to meditate on His Word. Walang limitation yan. We can do that on our own, personally, but also uh, corporately. Let's come together, no? Kahit online niya, wag mo sabihin na online kasi hindi ko gusto yung online. Eh. Walang kinalaman niya kung online o physical yan. Kasi pareho rin yun eh. Kung hindi nakaset yung heart mo, kahit nando ka sa isang physical building, hindi mo pa rin experience ang presence of God doon. Walang kinalaman niyo doon kung yun ay physical na lugar or sabihin natin online. Nasa heart yun eh and faith mo yun eh. No? If you are willing to open your heart to God and if you're willing to worship Him in spirit and in truth, you will experience the presence of God because God is present. Eh? Diba? He's present everywhere. The moment na i-open mo yung heart mo sa Kanya, you will experience God. No? Because, you know, when you humble yourself before the Lord, diba? you will never be put to shame. Kaya, nandoon yung pag po natin, mga kapatid. Wherever you might be, no, hindi na limited tayo ngayon, which is a wonderful blessing, okay? Pwede tayo magkasama-sama kahit na saan lupalog ka pa nararoon. Nasa Amerika ka, nasa Macau, nasa Europe ka, wherever you might be, we can come together 
in the presence of God like this. Isa ito sa mga paraan. And we should take advantage of it. Kaya gusto kong i-affirm uh, all of you who regularly join me no, at this time uh, to, to meditate on the Word of God, to pray together. At ini-encourage ko kayo no, to, to experience God's presence. Huwag lang tayo maging parang consumer na, okay, sige, pakinggan natin yung sinasabi ni Pastor Bong, tapos pag uh, bumabati na siya, ino, ako, iwanan na natin yan. No, well, let's not become consumers. Let's become engagers. Ika nga. Let's become part of the experience of being in the Lord's presence. So, napakahalaga po nating maunawaan ito, mga kapatid. Amen? So, yeah, for example, katulad ngayon, nagsasalita ako, yeah, mag- magbatian kayo sa isa't isa because we are here together even though hindi natin nakikita yung mga muka. Pero we are here. Mga totoong tao po tayo. Di ba? Nasa Pilipinas, nasa Amerika, nasa ibang lugar. We're all real persons po dito. Amen? Hindi po tayo parang ano yung robot or anything. We, we are actual human beings with feelings and experiences and so forth. And the wonderful thing is, the Lord is also real and He is with us right now. Amen? So, yun po ang tatandaan po natin. Only in God's presence can we have true confidence. So, i-prioritize po natin yun. Saliksikin na natin. Uh, alas 7 po itong devotions po na ito. And if you can, no, and if it's possible for you, be there no at, at uh, 7 a.m. Philippine time kung American time di ko alam siguro 6 p.m. yan you know 7 a.m. sa Pilipinas uh, let's all be together at the same time you know uh, that shows that we are truly seeking the Lord's presence okay now of course minsan na na late po tayo minsan dumarating tayo dito sa ating gathering na to ng quite late and it's all right i'm not judging you but what I'm saying is, gaya ni David, sabi niya, one thing I ask from the Lord, you know, in other words, have a desire to be in God's presence at all times. I-desire natin yan, i-prioritize natin, lagyan natin ng structure yung buhay natin. Amen? Okay, so kung sa daily devotions natin, lagyan natin ng time, okay, dito during this time, I will set it apart. I will, uh, ikang, I will offer itong time na to, to the Lord. And I will make sure that during this time, no, I will ano, focus myself on the Lord. So, mga kapatid, uh, only in God's presence can we have true confidence. So, wag, wag na po tayong lumayo, wag po tayong parang uh, mag-isolate, wag po tayong ano, parang magsarili. Let's come together as often as uh, possible, uh, through whatever means possible. Okay? At kahit na hindi tayo magkita, huwag kayong malungkot, huwag kayong madepress. You know, put your hope in God because only in God's presence can we have true confidence. Hallelujah. So purihin ang Panginoon. So tayo po ay ano, uh, manalangin ano, at uh, patuloy tayong magtiwala sa Panginoon at maging matatag kahit na ano pa yung nangyayari sa paligid natin. Amen? So, always remember na hindi limited si Lord sa mga physical buildings or physical gatherings. We can experience His presence anywhere, everywhere, 24-7. It's all really up to our ano, yung willingness to open our hearts to Him. Amen? So, tayong lahat po ay manalangin. Lord, uh, purihin ka, Panginoon, for this passage that reminds us, oh God, yung prioridad talaga of seeking your presence, Panginoon. Lord, gaya ng sinabi ni David, one thing I ask from the Lord, this only do I seek, that I may dwell in the house of the Lord all the days of my life, to gaze on the beauty of the Lord and to seek Him in His temple. Lord, nawa maging ganun yung desire namin. Lord, truly, hindi, hindi makakatulong sa amin ang ang mag-withdraw o mag-stop sa pagpupuri sa iyo, Lord. Because only in your presence can we have true confidence. So, dalangin ko po na lahat po kami na nakikinig ngayon dito sa devotional that we would really make a choice to seek your presence at all times. Whether individually, sa aming sariling mga quiet times or time of uh, silence and solitude before the Lord. O kaya together, 
as your people in whatever way, you know, whether as an online worship or online small group. Go no man, Lord, yung paraan. Lord, help us to really appreciate it and desire it sa puso namin. Because only in your presence, Lord, can we have true confidence. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon, for everyone na sumasali dito sa daily devotional na ito. Thank you, Lord, for your grace upon them and upon all of us and upon me. Salamat, Lord, for giving me strength. Lord, we commit ourselves na laging to desire your presence at all times, in whatever way possible. At Lord, tulungan niyo po ang ilan sa amin na, na nakafocus lang o naka associate lang nila ang presence mo sa physical gathering or building. Lord, help us to get past that, get to, to renew our minds. Lord, tulungan mo po kami na ma-renew yung isip namin so that we would see your presence not being limited by any physical location, but seeing your presence, O oh Lord, everywhere and anywhere at any time as we come together by the Holy Spirit. For truly nothing is uh, impossible and you are not limited by anything. Lord, salamat that we can draw near to you kahit na dito sa devotions na to, kahit saan, sa, sa online gathering, Lord, we can be with you and purihin ang Panginoon because when we are in your presence, O oh Lord, then we can truly have confidence sa gitna ng anumang mga nangyayari sa mundo namin. Salamat po, dear God. Thank you, Lord. Maraming salamat po, Panginoon. We worship you, Lord God. In Jesus' name, Amen. Amen. Yan, so purihin ang ating Panginoon. Well, praise God. At uh, once again, ang usap ang Panginoon sa atin. So, let's receive the Word of God sa buhay natin. Okay? Amen, no? At um, of course, hindi tayo nagkikita ngayon. Pero let's just uh, give each other mga virtual hugs, ika nga, mga virtual high fives. <laughs> okay? So, kahit hindi ko kayo nakikita, uh, you know, I, I love you all. And uh, thank you rin for loving me. And of course, it gets a lot. Let's love the Lord, no? More than anything else. So, tayo po ay uh, nasa presensya ng Panginoon ngayon. And let's enjoy that. Let's uh, just uh, appreciate that. Amen? So, huwag niyong kalilimutan na yung presence niya, nandun talaga yung confidence natin. Nothing else can give us hope and confidence sa mundong ito except the presence of the Lord. So, yun. Lahat ng pagkakataon, meron tayo. So, dito sa devotions natin, every day. Sana maging uh, pare-pareho tayong on, uh, nandito at 7 a.m. Philippine time. Kung ano man yung time zone nyo, adjust nyo na lang. But let's all be together at the same time. Okay? Uh, ano lang naman to one hour lang naman ito. But uh, let's maximize that. At kung ano man yung mer- mer- meron pang mga pagkakataon uh, to experience God's presence together, uh, let's take advantage of that. Amen? Ayun. So, purihin ang Panginoon. So, uh, let me just... Uh, uh, shout out or acknowledge all of you pero ah, before I do that nga pala na, bigo, bago ko makalimutan siyempre konting promotion na naman ulit kasi uh, next week is Holy Week na so starting sa Monday of next week we are going to focus yung devotions natin ay ka nga sa Holy Week so we'll be talking about specifically from a Holy Week perspective you know, yung devotions natin from Monday to Friday tapos yung Saturday next week which is um, uh, April uh, ano ba yun? 3 yata right? April 3 yata kung di ako nagkakamali uh, will be the start of the Get Real Radio Program so no, pakinggan lang po natin to Get Real is the weekly radio program of Real Life Christian Communities. Join us as we learn God's Word together. Para maranasan natin ang real life in Christ together with others. Ang Real Life Christian Communities ay isang movement composed of various Christian communities located in various places, both online and in person, that are united under one vision, one set of values, and one set of biblical beliefs. Join us every Saturday from 1.30 to 2 p.m. Dito sa DZJV 145A Radio Caliber Zone. Let's get real. 
So ayan, bali sa April 3 po yun, no? So kasama sa Holy Week celebration natin would be yung kick-off natin of our new program, radio program. Totong radio program na talaga kasi radio na talaga yan. No? So once again, ano, nanawagan ako for those of you who might be willing to partner with me for that ministry kasi may cost po yun. Eh, well, lahat naman ng bagay na ginagawa online may cost. Ano? Only a few things are free. Pero uh, usually, you know, when you want to do more, uh, merong cost siya. So if you want to partner with me sa mga online initiatives na ginagawa ko, please uh, just send me your I mean, send me a message, you know, let's, you can ask me pa paano, I'll, I'll tell you. Uh, there, are, of course, a lot of things that we can do by God's grace, pero siyempre, depende yun kasi lahat yun may financial na, ano, eh, na implication. So, salamat for all of those na nag-susuporta. Uh, Thank you so much sa inyo lahat. You know who you are. I really appreciate all of you na nag-indicate ng uh, inyong tulong, no? So, by God's grace. Well, anyway, so let's uh, dive in na ngayon dito sa part ng ating programa wherein I, you know, I acknowledge uh, all of you took the time to make comments. So, right now, uh, ayon sa, sa stats ko dito, we have uh, eight people listening or watching dun sa, sa profile ko, personal profile. Sa page, merong 27. Sa, uh, sa Twitch, merong isa. Imagine nyo yun. No? Merong isa pala nakikinig doon. And then, of course, uh, uh, sa YouTube naman, merong sampo. No? So, let me just acknowledge all of you who are listening right now. Uh, si Pastor Tess, hello. Of course, kapwa listeners daw. <laughs> hello sa inyo, learners. Amen. Thank you. Salamat. Glory Fe, of course. Good morning. Thank you. Uh, Presi, ano, salamat. Thanks for joining. Uh, Imelda Patong, Teacher Imelda, salamat po for joining us. Thank you. Yes, keep safe. Totoo po yan. Sister Ella Arceo, magandang umaga sa inyo. Thank you. Amen. Keep safe din po kayo. Uh, Helen Joshua, good morning po sa inyo. Uh, Elaine Resplendor, maraming salamat po for joining us today. Uh, Grace Ordiz, uh, Pastor Nips Ordiz, good morning sa inyo. God bless you. May the Lord continue to empower you in spite of the limitations and challenges no, of doing things online. No? Uh, persevere lang, Sister Grace and Bra Pastor Nips. Persevere lang po tayo. If you need my help for anything, uh, just feel free to contact me. No? Kung kailangan nyo ng advice or whatever, or uh, may tanong kayo about online ministry. Uh, Tita Mila, Tito Oscar, sa US, maraming salamat po. Thank you po sa inyong supporta dito. Thank you po sa inyong pagpartner din sa akin for my ministry. I really appreciate that. Maraming salamat po. Mr. Feli, thank you po sa inyo. Good, uh, good morning. Uh, Jester, hello sa iyo. God bless, kapatid. Patuloy mo tong ginagawa mo. This will truly strengthen your faith. Kaya yung choice mo to be here every day is a good choice. Okay? Because this is what will enable you to overcome. No? Kung ano man mga disappointments sa buhay o challenges. Uh, you know, by drawing near to God, nandun yung ano, confidence natin sa Panginoon. Sister Rose Brabante, hello po, good morning sa inyo. Uh, Sister Maret uh, Saron and Brother Ray Saron, good morning sa inyo. Uh, nagmamahal na mag-asawa, okay. <laughs> Sister Beth Hapon, Lily Beth Hapon, magandang umaga po, thank you. GV, hello, salamat, ang aking partner, ika nga pag uh, one, uh, online service every Sunday, no, ang ka- Ika nga, uh, kausap ko no, sa discussion ng Word of God. Thank you, JV. Salamat for your ministry. Okay, Sister Marife, hello po. Good morning po sa inyo. No? Eh, salamat for listening. Charo, I hope you're doing much better now. No? Sana gumaling ka na, di ba? By God's grace. Um, si Chad Gonzalvo, hello. By the way, uh, you know, paalala ko lang sa bawat isa na uh, yung... yung Kung meron kayong online small groups, uh, i-register nyo lang po. No? I'm do talking, talking to those na taga-aral CC. Pakiregister nyo lang po yung inyong mga online small groups. Okay, uh, Sister Chat, hello po sa inyo. Uh, Marife Palencia, good morning ulit. Brother Raul, uh, good morning sa iyo. Thank you for joining. Okay. Uh, Sheila, hello. You know, uh, magandang, uh, ano ba, hindi ko alam kung oras sa inyo dyan. No, but thank you for listening. God bless. Alright. Um, Sir Rain, of course, inviting everyone. Salamat po. If you uh, 
are listening, if you are part of uh, the community right now, hindi uh, lang siguro kayo nagko-comment, pero thank you po, salamat. Okay? Uh, Estela Lampasa, hello po, uh, magandang uh, umaga. Uh, listening from Singapore, wow, hello po sa inyo. No? Thank you po for uh, listening right now. Pareho naman tayo ng oras, ano? like Singapore, right? So, thank you po for joining. Uh, do share with others kung meron man kayong kilala who might benefit from this ministry. Uh, Christy Padilla, good morning po sa inyo. Salamat po for listening. Jose Padilla, of course, uh, husband and wife. Thank you po sa inyo. Salamat. Eden Anunsasyon, magandang umaga rin sa inyo dyan. Sa La Marea, thank you for listening. Uh, Brother Ray, uh, good morning. Many thanks po sa mga bumati sa aking kaarawan. Amen. Happy birthday sa inyo. At good news din po sa ating pinag-pray na si Robert Mina. Praise God. Dahil patuloy na po ang kanyang pag-recover. Praise be to God. No, Salamat sa Panginoon. At naka-recover na si Robert Mina. Praise God. Alright, uh, Sister Tess Reyes, good morning po sa lahat ng listeners. Shout out sa Soul Squad LG. LG Day po natin at prepare po tayo pa para itaas sa mga buhay natin at i-share ang pag-ibig at pag-asa na bigay ng ating Panginoon sa atin. Ano man ang ating sitwasyon, makita natin ang kabutihan ng Panginoon sa bawat buhay natin. Wow! All glory belongs to our Lord Jesus. Amen, Sister Tess. Salamat po. Praise God. I'm really encouraged sa, sa mga core teams natin, mga facilitators and mga coordinators ng mga life groups natin at share groups. Salamat sa inyong lahat, you know. Uh, don't forget to register, ha? Register kayo dun sa ating uh, list of small groups. Okay, um, Marita Gose, good morning. Hello sa inyo. Hey, Brother JC. Hello, JC Ovellanos. Uh, good, uh, ano ba? Good afternoon ba sa inyo? Ano bang, para bang time? Ano, delayed ba kayo ng ano? Uh, it's a, it's an afternoon, right? It's an afternoon sa inyo right now. Thank you, JC. And say hello to your mom, to your sister, to your brother, at to your wife, siyempre. Uh, hindi ko alam kung meron ka ng family, kung meron ka na bang anak, you know? so hindi ko alam. But uh, praise God. Thank you for joining. And also, thank you so much for your partnership then in the ministry. God bless you, kapatid. Uh, Stella Lampasa, hello po sa inyo dyan. Hello, salamat po for listening. Uh, Rosel, hello. Sa Singapore din, salamat. Thank you for listening, uh, Rosel. Uh, Christy Padilla Yes po, only in God's presence can we have true confidence Amen Amen. Only in God's presence can we have true confidence Salamat po for capturing the main thought natin today Always practice God's presence to have true confidence Amen, that's an application of it Okay, si Tito Oscar The, pre- the presence of God is the most extraordinary of all expectations Amen Salamat po Tito Oscar Ingat po kayo dyan Tita Mila God bless you dyan sa Sa Glenview, Glenview, Illinois, ingat po kayo. No? Salamat po for your joining dito sa Daily Devotions. Zondra, Amen, Amen. Only in God's presence can we have true confidence. We recognize yung realidad na kumakaharap tayo ng problems and trials pero hindi dapat tayo mabahala or magpanic or maging anxious sa mga problema na kinakaharap natin dahil si God at uh, kanyang presensya ang ating confidence, our strength, our comfort. Well said, Zondra. Thank you so much for sharing. That's exactly what we need to hear. Amen? So, mga LG squad, thank you, Sister Tess, for inviting everybody. Yan, mga members mo. Salamat. Thank you, Lord. Uh, Zondra, God is omnipresent. We can experience His presence uh, kahit wala tayo sa physical building ng church. Amen. Totoo yun. We should all remember that. Na sana ma-renew na yung ating mga minds. Ano? Uh, Sister Roda, blessed morning po sa inyo. Yes, magandang uh, umaga sa inyo. Diyan sa Adele, you know, good uh, good morning. Thank you for joining us dito. Tess Reyes, good morning everyone. Terry, hello Terry, good morning sa iyo. Salamat for joining. Sister Anna, kumusta po kayo? At ang inyong uh, mister, you know, si Brother Joshua. At siyempre si Zep, na siguro tulog pa. <laughs> good morning sa inyo, okay? Sister Feli, hi Zondra, yes, hello. I ko naman si uh, to build confidence is to have wisdom to recognize the source of pa- power of our Creator. We can live courageously in the face of difficult circumstances when we confidently, confidently turn to God for strength. Amen po. Salamat, Sister Aiko. God bless you. Kamusta niyo po ako sa mga ano natin? Please, uh, minister sa mga kasamahan natin sa RLCC Vista Hills. Uh, greet them. Say hello. Pag-pray mo sila. Uh, tell them we love them at uh, di natin sila kinakalimutan. Amen. 
So, Sister Sondra, uh, hello po, Mami Feli. Wow, amen. That's good. Nagko-correct, nagko-connect tayo sa isa't isa. That's, that's wonderful. Big, big hugs. Miss you. Okay, that's good. Okay po yan. Walang problema yan. That's uh, exactly what we need to do. Sister Rochelle, amen po, PB. Sometimes we are present physically in the building every Sunday, but our hearts and minds are not there. Yeah, totoo yan, di ba? Grateful that we uh, we have technology in this season po. Yeah, that's true. Yeah. Kahit na nando ka sa isang physical building, you cannot, sometimes you do not experience the presence of God kasi wala naman doon yung heart mo eh. <laughs> Physically, nandong ka lang pero hindi ka present spiritually. So, Sister Hermie, Amen. Grateful being with you all, Devo listeners, through PB's daily devotion. Salamat po. Thank you, Sister Hermie. Alam ko, nag enjoy ka dyan sa Baguio, no? <laughs> But, pero stay safe, ha? Stay safe dyan. Kaya Baguio, mataas pa rin ang COVID cases dyan. Christy Padilla, salamat po. Zondra, yay, amen. Christy Padilla, big hugs also to all and to all my cousins here, mga Safra family. Wow, praise God. Pinsan niyo pala mga Safra family. Okay? So, Sister Zondra, miss you more, pa more. Uh, miss you more po, Mommy Phils. Wow? Okay, parang nag-uusap na silang dalawa. That's good. Amen. Uh, Jester, thank you po, PB. Yes, thank you then, Jester. Uh, GV, Bonggun. Ano yung Bonggun? Hindi ko alam yun ha. Sa GV, ano yung Bonggun? Ah, Koreano. Okay. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Viv Aquiles Marquez. Maraming salamat po for joining. Oh, that's it. Okay, praise God. So, thank you so much po for everybody. At uh, muli, uh, stay safe lang po. At uh, persevere. And uh, most of all, wag natin limitahan ang presence of God sa mga physical gatherings because we can and we should and we must experience the presence of God in every way possible. Amen? So, kita-kits tayo ulit tomorrow, 7 a.m. po. Wag po kayo malate para magkakasama po tayo. Amen? So, God bless you and uh, bye-bye.